there I am, just chilling on my yacht. Who walks over? Elon Musk. No. I swear. And I'm like, hey, buddy. <gasps> that's me. That's me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness, Jazz. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. We didn't know if that was you at first, but now we're freaking out. Can we have a picture? Of course, yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. When you said that your daughter was in the music, I thought you meant karaoke. No. She's my little superstar. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. So anyway, what were we talking about? Elon. So I tell Moss, how many uh, shares... No way! A record label just emailed me about signing me. They said my bonus can be up to $100,000. Wait, did you just say $100,000? Uh-huh. No way. That is incredible. It's all happening so fast. Should I take it? I don't want to do the wrong thing. I'm not sure. I mean, you're very smart. But you are still so young. I think we should get a manager. You know, Jasmine, I used to be a financial advisor to some of the richest people in the world. Like Winfrey, Bezos, Gates. Oh, that's right. You shared the stories with me. Wait, show her the pictures you showed me. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite one. Oh, cool. Who is that? Branson. Sir Richard Branson, founder of Virgin. He had his own record label. Okay. Look, look, the point is, is that I know the industry fairly well. And if you'd like, I could take care of the business side for you. What a great idea. Mike should be your manager. It's like fate. And you're in between jobs right now, right? Yeah. I'm just looking at my options. I got about seven offers right now. I'm just deciding which one I want to take. But I'd much rather be helping you two. Um, maybe I should try things first myself and just see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I could do that. But I'd be careful. They might seem nice at first, but people aren't always who they pretend to be. Some are just wolves in sheep's clothing. And boy, do I know how to spot a wolf. Mike's right. You need an adult with experience. At least take him with you. All right, I guess. Jasmine, trust me. I know how business and money works. I mean, I take millionaires, make them billionaires. I'm sorry, sir. Here. It seems your card has declined. What? I deactivated this one. I'm waiting for the Black American Express card, and it's, it's taking forever. It's okay, it's okay, I've got oh. it. Here you go. Thank you. Keep the change. Wow. That's talent. <laughs> you can definitely sing. You give me Amy Winehouse vibes. Mm. Right. Let me ask you a question, though. Where do you get your inspiration from? My dad. After he passed away, I turned to music and singing as an escape, and it really helped me through a lot. Oh, that's really touching, and I'm so sorry to hear about your father. You know, I think this would be an excellent time to talk about the advance. You know, what the total sum overall will be. Right. Well, we can definitely start talking about that. We usually start our new artists off with a $75,000 advance for their debut album. Then you would also get 30% for stream revenue and 25% for concert ticket sales. That sounds... A little disappointing. Here's our counter offer. We take some off of the back end and uh, put more money up front. You know, shave down the stream, and the ticket revenue, you know, and just up the advance. Um, so just to be understanding, you want to get paid more now and make less later. Yeah. Can you give us a sec? Sure. Why would we do that? Look, I see this all the time. They shortchange you up front, and then they say that you're going to make all this money in the long run. But the thing is, is that most new artists fail. So you're not gonna make the money that these executives projected. You think I'm gonna fail? 
No. Look, all I'm saying is better to have a bird in the hand than two in the bush. You know what I'm saying? No. Jasmine, you have to trust me. It's gonna be good for both of us. It's gonna be good for you. For you. Okay. We'll do it. <laughs> Fantastic. So we can do 125K up front, but then we're gonna have to take down the stream revenue to 20% and the concert ticket sales will go down to 15%. Which, to be transparent, means she'll make a lot less in the long run if she's as successful as we think she'll be. Perfect. This is great. Oh, and by the way, since she's underage, I wanna set up a trust fund that I can manage. Only her legal guardian can do that. And you're just Jasmine's mom's boyfriend, correct? Jasmine's manager. But no worries. I will make sure that her mom is on board. Mom, 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 look, my first check just came. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I've never seen this much money in a check before. This is incredible. And I already know what I'm gonna do with it first. I'm gonna put it toward a new house for you. Oh honey, that is so sweet, but don't do that. You shouldn't be spending your money on me. But you deserve it, it can be a modest house. <laughs> I hate to butt in, but I have to agree with your mom. You know, you don't wanna spend all your money at once. You don't wanna end up like MC Hammer. <laughs> the can't touch this guy? He made a bunch of hits, spent all of his money, went bankrupt. There's a long list of artists like that. Look, I'm gonna tell you something that sounds boring, but you wanna invest in savings and bonds. Mike's right. You need to do the responsible thing. Hmm. And don't worry. Look, when your investments start to gain interest, that's when you start spending. And with my help, you're gonna be making more money than you ever dreamed. Mm. Modest house. You're gonna have a mansion, Rolls Royce, spending sprees, your own personal chef. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, then let me set up the bank account and get this ball rolling. Um, can we talk in private real quick? Yeah. Mike, do you mind? No. Oh, thanks. What's up, baby? Are you sure this is a good idea? You're putting a lot of trust in someone you've only been dating for a few months. Of course I trust him. He makes financial decisions for a living. And he got you a higher up front, after all. I guess, I just, I feel like this sort of thing should stay in the family. He knows what he's doing. Give him a chance. Mike. Oh. Um, you can open the account if you think that's the wise thing to do. I think it's the best decision you'll ever make. Here, you can sign right there. I'll give you a hand. Oh. <laughs> All right, great. Here, I'll take this. And you know what? You can keep the pen. <laughs> oh, man, you hit the jackpot, man. And to think you were just gonna scam the mom. Now you're coming away with the biggest score of your life. Her daughter, dang, you're lucky. God, calm down, all right? Sorry, man. I'm just saying, it seems like your losing streak is finally over. This is a lot of money. That it is. And if I keep on playing my cards right, there's gonna be a lot more where that came from. <laughs> Got it. Uh, speaking of playing cards, when are we going to the casino? Oh, Todd, my good man, as soon as this check clears, we're gonna hop on the first flight. And Helen's not gonna know anything about it. You wanna know why? Because what happens in Vegas, Stays in Vegas. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna have 125K oh, to play with. Whoa, 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 easy. It's gonna be a little less than that. Look, man, I gotta make a purchase. Hey, man, I gotta lock down my cash cow. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Look, man, when I become Jasmine's legal guardian, I'll be control of her money until she turns 18. Good afternoon, my good man. My name is Michael Keller. I have an account here. There's some overdraft fees, but I believe this deposit will cover that, and then some. Everything okay? Um, what's wrong? Don't 
Don't you think it's a little strange that as soon as Mike got the check, he went on a business trip? And then I keep texting him and asking for the business account info, and he just doesn't answer. I'm sure he's just busy, sweetie. Meeting with high-level execs. Everything is fine. I just get this really bad feeling about it. We're giving a lot of power to someone who's not even in our family. I don't think I want him managing my money anymore. Okay. If you're not comfortable, then I have okay. to respect that. At the end of the day, this is your career. I have to let you make your own decisions. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Ellen! I got a surprise for you, sweetie. Come on in here. Don't forget to tell him what we talked about. Ellen, you have made me the happiest man on earth. And I undoubtedly want to spend the rest of my life with you. Not only as your husband, but as the father to Jasmine. Will you marry me? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Oh, honey, isn't this amazing? It's awesome. <laughs> but don't let this affect what we talked about. Oh, honey, no. Now is not the time. And he will be family. So this changes everything. You know what? I left the champagne in my car. Huh? Let me go get that. This is the best day of my life. You've had plenty of L's in the past. You just need another good night at the casino after another one of those music checks comes in. No, but you don't get it. There's no more checks. No, Jasmine's turning 18. That means that she doesn't need a legal guardian to take care of her finances. Oh, crap. Yeah. So what are you going to do when she comes around asking for all that money you've been collecting from her? Oh, that's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I don't know what to do. I lost it. Lost it. It's all coming crashing to an end. <sighs> Too bad you still can't be in charge of her finances. You know, like Britney Spears' dad did with Britney. Hold on. That's it. Conservatorship. No, listen to me. 
if she's deemed too unfit, maybe I can and I will convince a judge to be her conservator. Come on. Jasmine is a very smart girl, man. There's no way you're gonna convince any judge of that. If I can convince her mom to trust me, then maybe, just maybe, I can convince a whole court. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You still have that connection with the guy in the pharmacy? Yeah. Call him. Okay, so I was thinking about asking Mike to take some money out of your account to throw you an amazing birthday party. Yes, I love that. Also, I know I'm not supposed to be spending any of my money, but I literally haven't bought anything yet. So I was thinking of maybe taking some of the interest Mike says he earned and using it to buy a new car. Is that okay? You're 18, it's your money. Just be careful. Mike? Hey, Ellen. Here. Did you come in for this? I have something to drink. Uh, this is Barry, a lawyer friend of mine, and I figured it would be appropriate if he was here for this. I was cleaning around the house, and I found these pills in Jasmine's room. Pills? I don't take pills. Well, they have your name on them. I don't understand. Mom, those aren't mine, I swear. Look, I was confused too at first. But then, found her songbook. And I read some of the lyrics. Apparently, she's still depressed about, you know, her father. How dare you take that without asking? That's private. Give it back! Hey. 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 Oh my God, she's clearly unstable. She tried to attack me. Hey, okay. She's clearly on something. What? He's lying. Okay. What exactly is your friend doing here? <clears throat> Barry specializes in conservatorship, okay? And this just might be the best thing for Jasmine. If she's addicted to pills, she's a threat to herself and to others. And it could be a disaster if she has access to her finances. And that's why I took Barry's legal advice to be her conservator. You did what? Mom, you can't let him do this. How could you do that without talking to us? I can't believe you. Look, before she turns 18, and as her soon-to-be father... You're not my father! And you never will be. Trusting you was a huge mistake. Well, I'll see you two in court. Honey, I am so sorry that I put you in this position. You were right, and I should have listened to you. It's okay, Mom. We're gonna fight this. We're not gonna let them get away with it. These test results prove that she's been under the influence of prescription pills. Jasmine claims that the pills were planted in her room, but that doesn't explain how they got into her system. Mm, true, but uh, it was a very little amount. And let's not forget that Miss Ross agreed to the drug tests. She could have flushed them out of her system before taking that test. And let's not forget about the songbook. It was obviously a cry for help. And that's all that my client is trying to do. Mr. Keller is just trying to help her so that she doesn't go down a bad path like so many other young stars have done. Listen to any of my songs. I speak from my heart. Just because I write about how I'm feeling doesn't mean I am in need of help. Was the plaintiff finished? Go ahead. Miss Ross, are you sure you don't want a lawyer to help represent you in this case? Yes, Your Honor. It's hard to trust people these days. Your Honor, we're overlooking a key element here. Michael Keller is nothing but a con artist. That's a lie. Miss Ross, do you have any evidence of that? Yes, Your Honor. When my mother first met Michael, he claimed to be the financial consultant for many different successful people, including Richard Branson. He even showed us a photo of him with Mr. Branson. This 
is the photo that he showed us. And this is the original photo without Michael Damn. in it. He photoshopped himself. Thank you. Well, just because Mr. Keller isn't friends with any billionaires, it doesn't make him a con artist. Your Honor, that's not all. He claims that I'm on meds, but then I looked more closely at the label, and it's glued on. Underneath is a completely different name. This is all a setup. Your Honor, how do we know that she didn't make the fake label? I mean, besides the pills not being hers, then why did she have drugs in her system? I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. Well, this is very interesting. But, uh, Miss Ross, I just don't see any concrete proof that Mr. Keller is a con artist. And after listening to your music and reading your drug test, um, there are some things that are concerning. So do you have any more evidence for the court? Yes, Your Honor. A witness. A witness? Who, your mom? Your Honor, come on, every mother is gonna vouch for their child. I mean, she doesn't want to believe the truth. No, it's not my mother. It's Barry. Or should I say... I'm sorry, man. I got into some trouble and the cops said they would reduce my sentence if I would like, you know. Your Honor, this man's willing to testify against Michael Keller, AKA Brandon Myers. A.K.A. Lester McGrath. He's a known con artist. We've been trying to track him down for years. You little rat. He may be a rat, but you, Michael, are a wolf. Just like you told me. Not everyone's who they pretend to be. Some are wolves in sheep's clothing. All right, I've heard enough. Bailiff, take Mr. Uh, Michael Keller, or whatever you call yourself, out of here. Your Honor. No, Your Honor, you can't do this. I know important people. Yeah, yeah, we all know important people. This case is dismissed. Yes, Mom, we did it. No, honey, you did it. Oh. You were so smart. I should have given you more credit. I just feel so awful. I shouldn't have trusted him. And I'm so sorry that I lost all your money. Mom, it's okay. I'm just so glad he's out of our lives now. This felt like a soap opera. Yeah. Somebody should write it into a novel. Yeah, or a song. Show me you not who you wish you were. I want you not who you pretend to be. You feel too, I know it's not just me. Lose the filter, let yourself free. Meet me tomorrow after school. I think our son is selling drugs. You are assuming all of this because you found some cash under his bed? I just heard him saying he's gonna meet someone in an alleyway and buy what he needs.